Big breaking news coming in late last night. Former President Donald Trump indicted for a second time, this time on federal charges related to his handling of classified documents. The former president returned to Bedminster for the summer this week. The documents in question were the ones that were found during the FBI raid at his Mar-a-Lago estate in August. Sources tell ABC News that Trump faces at least seven charges, including corruptly concealing a document and conspiracy to obstruct justice. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo in Bedminster, New Jersey this morning with a breakdown of all of the charges and what the coming days could look like for the former president. Good morning, Anthony. Well, good morning, and that's right. New this morning, we're learning that the former president met with his political advisors down the road from us just last night uh, to figure out uh, really how to deal with all of this. This is history making, not in a good way. It's the first time a former president uh, has been hit with criminal charges in U.S. history by the federal government here. And former president Donald Trump, of course, not the first time that he's been indicted, but this is arguably the biggest legal threat he faces so far, and he's already trying to use it to his advantage as he tries to reclaim the White House. Among the seven criminal charges the former president says he now faces is conspiracy, willful retention of national defense information, and obstruction. These charges stem from a federal investigation focused on whether Trump broke the law or put national security at risk by holding on to documents marked classified at Mar-a-Lago. Last year, the FBI recovered more than 100 documents from Trump's Florida residence after he failed to comply with a subpoena. The Department of Justice appointed special counsel Jack Smith to prosecute Trump for obstructing the U.S. government as it tried to retrieve these classified documents. A grand jury has been hearing evidence down in Florida leading up to this historic moment. Sources say prosecutors informed Trump's lawyers of the indictment shortly before he took to social media last night. And it didn't take long before the former president started using the news to fundraise for his 2024 presidential campaign. I'm innocent and we will prove that very, very soundly and hopefully very quickly. Thank you very much. He knows he's innocent. He knows this is garbage. He knows there's fundamental flaws with each one of the counts that they're apparently putting in this indictment. And he knows that the whole process, starting from the archivist, was a corrupt and politicized one. So he's not shrinking from the fight. And Trump's lawyer there condemning this whole investigation. Trump himself called this a witch hunt, which we've certainly heard him say before. Trump says he's due in court in Miami on Tuesday, where he will be booked and arraigned as a federal defendant. And if convicted in all of this, prison time is not out of the question. We're live.